What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. We're focusing on Pittsburgh not tendering Justin Schultz a qualifying offer and uh, the former Wisconsin Badger going to free agency. You know, I think it's a uh, different feel than the last time Justin Schultz went to free agency, if we're being honest. I mean, remember, he, he didn't sign with the Docs and, you know, went the free agent route to sign with Edmonton. But, you know, I think there's a... Uh, Mutual interest between Schultz and uh, Pittsburgh, so he could resign. I mean, they uh, three point nine million dollars. So he'll need he'll need to take less than that. But given the fact, that I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot of interest. I mean, yeah, he's not gonna get more than that in the market. So if he signs for you know two to three million with Pittsburgh, you know where he kind of rediscovered his game and a new role, if you will, I think that's definitely something that you know could benefit both parties. I mean. It was what four years ago. Everyone wanted Justin Schultz. He was he was the odd sought after commodity. Everyone in there, you know, every team out there was trying to ink him, and uh, you know, it didn't come to fruition. I think Detroit could be in on him as well. Detroit, Tampa was really in on him the first go around, as was Vancouver, and you know, both those teams could use some depth on defense. So, you know, we'll see what how it shakes itself up. But if I was betting, I would say he's back in Pittsburgh at a reduced rate next year. You know, again, it's just weird. I mean, he was really good his first year. You know, I know the walkout was so half of it was in the AHL where he was, you know, one of the best defensemen the AHL has seen in a while. That one, you know, half season he was down there. And, uh, you know, I, I think going a step further, that first few, the first, you know, whatever you want to call it, lockout shortened season under Coach Kruger, he looked really, really good. And then they, they changed it up, and he never really fit in with Dallas Higgins and, you know, the, the new staff in Edmonton hasn't exactly, uh, you know, fully embraced, you know, Coach McClellan never really, he never really got going into McClellan, then he got to Pittsburgh and, you know, wasn't being tasked with, you know, being the, the number one guy who's just kind of fill in, do your job, and, you know, he kind of discovered himself that way. So we'll see how it all shakes itself up. But, you know, again, I think there's still, uh, I think he can contribute to a team. I just don't think he's what we thought he was going to be, which is okay. That's the way prospect development goes. Anyway, that's all I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.